Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over all of our router bits and exactly how we use them for lettering. So stick with us, we'll get started. So this video is actually an updated version of number 406 and I'll put a link in the description below for that one. But we've added a couple bits to our arsenal and this again is specifically for wording. We have another video that's coming out on artwork but this one is all about wording. So let's start with the first bit. So the first bit we're gonna go over is the profile bit. Now, if I had to recommend just one bit out of all of our bits, it would be the profile bit. It's the one that's the most versatile that you can do the most with. So the primary reason that we use a profile bit is for outset letters. This will allow you to go around the outside of the letter that then later on you can do a background around. So that's the primary reason for the profile bit. Second, we'll use a profile bit for small inset letters. This one is inset letters that you can't use the 64 because it's too tiny, but you can fit the profile bit in there and it's the perfect width for small one inch inset letters or a little bit larger than that. So the next is the 60 degree bit. Now the 60 degree bit is three fluted and it's probably our best cutting bit. We use this mainly for inset letters. Now for me, my, my preference is anything one inch and above, I'll use the 60 degree bit. Anything smaller than one inch, three quarter, half inch or whatever, then I'll go to the profile bit for inset. One thing you wanna be really careful of is you don't wanna set the 60 degree bit too deep. Otherwise, it's gonna burn and it's gonna burr really bad. So the, the maximum depth you wanna set your 60 is at 3 16 And you can use our depth gauge to really make sure you get that dead on. I'll put a link in the description below. Next on the list is the 90 degree V groove. Now this is the one primarily that I use for background around outside letters. I like a textured background. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm more of a textured background, but the 90 is the one I use primarily for background on outside letters. The next reason I would use the 90 is for large inset letters, like three inch or above. When you get large inset letters, you wanna take out as much wood as you can in there, and the, the 90 degree bit will allow you enough room to get inside of those large inset letters, and then you can take the background out however you want. So the next bit, and this is probably our newest addition, is the carving liner. This is a single flute bit with a really fine tip. What you would use this for is anything that comes to a fine point. We use it on real small outset letters, even super tiny inset letters. But because this is a, a fine tip uh, bit, you don't want to go much deeper than about an eighth of an inch because the tip will break off if you try to take too much out at one point or at one shot. Next is a quarter inch spiral upcut. So the primary reason that I would use a spiral upcut is if you wanted a flat background. Now I'm more of a textured background guy, so I don't use it much for that. But those of you that do use uh, like a, a flat background, then definitely the spiral upcut is the bit that you want to use. It works perfect for that. A secondary reason that I would use this, the quarter inch spiral upcut is to cut shapes. Like if I'm cutting a shape of a ribbon or something like that, we've got a lot of videos on the channel that show you how to do that. So those are the two primary reasons that I would use the spiral upcut. Now one thing to note is that because the spiral upcut bits and we have two of them because of the way they're ground we can't sharpen those that's just all of our other bits we can but those we cannot sharpen in case you're interested in us sharpening your bits so the next bit is the eighth inch spiral upcut now it still has a quarter inch shaft but the actual cutting edge is obviously half of the quarter inch where this really shines is if you have to get into really fine places and you want a flat background. That's where this bit really comes into play. Now, you can go pretty deep on these things. You can go uh, 3 16 at a time, but if you're gonna go any deeper than 3 16 if you're cutting something small out or whatever, you wanna make multiple passes because it is a thin cutting edge and it will break if you try to take too much out at one, one time. And the eighth inch, again, just like the quarter inch, we can't sharpen this one. 
but they last a long time and you'll get a lot of cutting out of one of these bits. Now with our other bits that we do sharpen, we offer the premium and executive membership and I'll put a link in the description below and we actually sharpen your bits you get from us for free with those memberships. So check that out. Next is a 45 degree chamfer bit. Now this is the one, just like the description, it does a nice bevel chamfer on the edge, gives your signs a nice frame around there. You can do a, a slight chamfer or a heavy chamfer, works great. It has a bearing on the bottom, so it makes it nice and simple and easy. The next thing you can do with the 45 degree chamfer bit is to do scalloping. Scalloping is a really neat, unique, way that you can put an edge on your board. It's very uniform looking, even though you can make them whatever length that you want. But sometimes a really shallow scallop looks good. I'm more of a deep scallop guy, but it gives a really neat contrast to the bevel. So uh, give scalloping a try. I think you'll like it. All right. So that's how we use each of our bits for the wording part. Now we have another video coming out pretty quick on how we would use the bits for artwork. And that's gonna be pretty in depth. Um, but if you're interested, like I was talking about the memberships, I'll put a link in the description below. And I'll also put a link for all of the bits we use. Again, if you want to get our bits and then you want free sharpening, check out the memberships. So that's about it, guys. Hope this is helpful. Again, this is a, this is a kind of a, an updated version of 406, which many of you have already seen. But this is the modern version. This is the 2023 version. And I, I'm hoping that it's helpful for you. So thanks again so much for watching. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do videos uh, two or three times a week. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Or me, ryan at makeawoodsign.com, and we're happy to help, guys. Yep. So we love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.